Hi, I'm Nick and I'm here with The Wing. Today we're going to be looking at the available EQ and dynamic processing on the console. Let's jump on in. If you select a channel and then press the home button on the display, on the left hand side of the screen will display your channel strip. The third option down is your gate, so let's select this. If you don't see the option for a gate on your channel strip, you may have a bus, an auxiliary or a main output channel selected. To activate the gate on your channel, press the on button in the top corner. The parameters for the gate can be adjusted using the touch screen or the encoders beneath the screen. On the right hand side of the display, you can adjust the parameters for the envelope. In the top right hand corner is the key source option. The key source will allow a different source to trigger the gate. This is extremely helpful for side chaining. Simply select the option and a drop down menu will appear. You can then select the source that you would like to trigger the gate. Next to the key source will now be a key tap option. This will allow you to select the tap point on the key source signal. You can also adjust the filter for the gate. This is done in the same way using the drop down menu. In the filter menu, we can change between a flat, low pass, high pass or band pass filter using another drop down menu. Below this is also the key solo option. The key solo will only play the key source through your monitor output, not from your main output. When you are done with the key solo, simply press the key solo button again to disengage or the clear solo button on the display. Once completed, press the done button. Finally is the option to adjust the gate model. This is done from a drop down menu in the top left corner. Once the drop down is open, simply select the gate model that you'd like to use. Please be aware that if you return to a different gate that you've previously used, all settings will be reset back to their default state other than the key filter and the key source. Underneath the gate on your channel strip on the left hand side of the display is the EQ option. As with the gate, ensure that this is engaged when you would like to use it. The EQ can be adjusted using the touch screen or the encoders below the screen. The encoders below the screen will only control the band that you have selected at that time. So either press on the digital display or on the list on the right hand side of the display to select the band. There is also a band solo option. This will play only that selected EQ band through your monitors. This is great for really fine tuning those adjustments in. To disengage the band solo, either press the band solo button again or the clear solo button on the display. You will notice at the top of the screen there is an RTA or real time analyzer. You can freeze the RTA using the freeze option. To disengage the freeze, press freeze again. To the left of the freeze button is the mix option. This controls the wet dry mix that your EQ will have on the channel. Press the mix button and then use the encoder on the right hand side of the display to adjust this. The filter option in the top right hand corner will allow you to apply different filters to your EQ. The default option you will see in the filter menu will be to add the low cut, the high cut and engage the tilt EQ mode. It is worth noting that the low cut and the high cut options can be adjusted using the touch screen but the tilt can only be controlled using the encoders. If you press the tool filter option in the top right hand corner you can change from a tilt EQ to an all pass filter or to a sound maxer. Once completed, press the done button to return to the EQ menu. Another thing to note with the additional filters is that these aren't affected by the on and off button, meaning they will still be engaged when you turn the EQ off. Finally, you can change the EQ model using the drop down menu in the top left. As with the gate, if you change EQ model and then change back, it will have defaulted your settings. 
Finally, let's look at the compressor. It's located just below the EQ. Similar to the gate, you can control all parameters using the touch screen or the encoders below the screen. You could also adjust the key source and the key filter and also apply a crossover to your compressor. As with the gate, you can adjust the compressor model. This is simply done by selecting the dynamics model drop down at the top of the screen. Finally, let's look at reordering the channel strip. To do this, we need to return to the home menu. At the bottom of the screen, slightly to the right, you will see the edit option. If we select this, we can then drag and drop our modules to different locations in the channel strip. Once completed, press edit again. And that's a basic overview of the EQ and dynamics processing on the wing.